What should you do if you've had an online relationship and a scammer has personal videos, photo, and information that they're trying to blackmail you with? The first thing is not to panic. Blocking should be your second move. Remember, scammers base everything off of creating fear and panic to try and get you to pay large sums of money or gift cards. If you send a video or photos you wouldn't want your family to see of you, to a fake profile you were chatting with or had a relationship with online and they are now blackmailing you, block them. Don't respond, don't beg, plead, get angry or send messages to them. Simply block the scammer's fake profile. Warn your family and friends that you are being harassed online. Have them block the person too. You don't have to go into details of why they're harassing you. Just warn your close family, friends, and co-workers and have them block the profile. Also, don't assume just because you've blocked the fake profile that the scammer will go away. Scammers often have tons of profiles, so you need to be on guard for any new friend requests you get after blocking the fake. Block them too. Block any new friend request if it's someone you do not know in person. Don't accept friend requests from people you don't know, especially after you find yourself being blackmailed by a scammer. Change your profile picture and ensure your profile is locked down. Your friends list is hidden and your personal photos are set to private. Change your wallpaper, your profile picture, and make sure your about section doesn't have your phone number, personal info set to public. So many people don't realize how their profile settings are and many have their name, address, and phone number and more exposed to the public. Continue to be vigilant. Scammers don't tend to waste time on target victims if that person blocks them or refuses to pay. They're often after money and they'll just move on to someone else who might pay. Above all, do not pay them. While it may seem easy to pay off a scammer to make them go away, the reality is they don't go away. Once you pay a scammer, they see you as an easy target and then they'll ask for more money and more gift cards and continue to harass you. They then tell their scammer friends that you have money and pay out. Pretty soon you're being inundated with friend requests and demands for cash. Blocking is best always and while it might be scary especially if you've sent provocative photos and videos, at the end of the day, you are always in control. Blocking is always best. While it might be scary, especially if you've sent provocative photos and videos, at the end of the day, you are always in control. And blocking a scammer is literally shutting the door in their face and locking it. Don't allow them to blackmail or scare you into handing over your cash. Block, block, and block. Do not engage. Do not tell them off. Just block and move on with your life. Stay safe. And as always, never pay a scammer, no matter how much they demand of you or what threats they make.